All right, Yogi, if you've been feeling like you have tight hips, um, maybe they're a little stiff or your low back or your knees are being feeling a little stiff, I'm gonna take you through just a quick little routine that's gonna cover a little bit of everything. You're gonna get dynamic stretches, you're gonna get passive stretches, active and isometric, all right? So what's important about this or what makes this functional rather is instead of just passively stretching, which is good for calming your nervous system down, you're gonna do something that's going to be a little bit closer to how you might live outside of the yoga practice, right? Sometimes we like to have faster movements towards something or uh, need to load a little bit more weight. So uh, like I said, passive is great if you're just trying to relax your nervous system, but doing actives and isometrics and dynamic movements are gonna be good. So why not do all of it, right? So meet me on the mat, grab a couple blocks if you know you have tight hips, all right? Okay, so to get started, you're gonna extend your legs out in front of you and then take your legs out about 90 degrees. Just think like creating a right triangle right in your groin. And then from here, you can lean back, plant your hands down, straighten out the spine, and then bend your knees about 90 degrees as well. So here, how much you lean back is, is gonna be completely up to how tight you are in your internal and external rotators. And we're just gonna go back and forth from side to side, going into that internal and external rotation here. I'm not trying to push it too hard into um, like my deepest stretch. This is just to warm up the motion of what we're trying to do. Now, what's good about doing 90-90s is it does cover um, internal and external rotation. And if you really focus on internal and external rotation, uh, especially when you do it actively or isometrically, uh, you're also going to get into some of the linear muscles like your hamstrings, okay? So you get a little bit of everything. Whereas if you just focus on your hamstrings, whether or not you get into your rotators is debatable. Okay, let's do one more, just rocking side to side. And the next time you rock over towards your right leg, you're just going to sit up and turn your chest towards your right leg. Now we're in a 90-90 position. It's called the 90-90 because you're creating 90 degree angles in your leg. So if you look at the back of your knee, 90 degree angle, growing 90, back leg, 90, okay? So if you have tight hips and your knee doesn't come down onto the ground, you can always place a block underneath it. If you feel like you're cramping in this back leg, you can always lean out to the side, okay? Wherever you are, we're also gonna make this dynamic. So get nice and long through the spine, even if you're leaning out to the side. And on your exhale, try to keep a straight spine as you lean forward. And then when you come back up, instead of using your hands to push into the ground, do your best to use your front leg, right? Pushing the outside of the foot into the ground, pushing the outside of the knee into the ground. And let's do this five times. So this is three, Two more deep breaths in and out through the nose. And last one. So we're just gonna come back into that same position that we started in and just rock over towards the back of the mat. And I know you're gonna be facing away from the camera, but that's okay, we're just doing the same exact thing. Find your 90-90 position. See if this is your tighter side or your looser side, adjust as necessary. And then with the straight spine, five rounds. One, two, breathe. Three, again, pushing down through the leg instead of your hands. Four and five, okay. Take it back into center. Now, before we go back to the first side, straighten your legs out. Again, still just a 90 degree angle. Take a big inhale and on your exhale for this first round, we're gonna use our hands folding forward and coming back up. And we're gonna do that five times. Two, try to keep your spine straight so you're really hinging at the, at the hips, three, four and five. Okay, come back up, bend your knees back 90 degrees and take it over back to the first side. Now, let's start to make this isometric. And isometric means that you're just like, it's a static stretch, but you're, push, you're pushing down with your leg into the ground. So now if you can't really push your knee down into the ground because your external rotation is limited here, grab a block. Even if your knee is touching the ground, but you can't put weight, grab a block, okay? So I'm flexing the foot, pushing the outside edge of the foot down into the ground, pushing the knee into the block. Take a big inhale and exhale, fold just a little bit, and then focus more on pushing down, and you should feel the outside of your glute in your front leg really fire up and turn on, okay? What makes the stretch deeper isn't how much you can fold over. Like if you're resting your chest against your thigh, we don't want that, okay? So hands away from the ground, 
pushing as much as you can into the block with your knee. Or if you don't have the block there, the ground. Breathe just for three, two, one, and release. So we're gonna take this over to the back side. I'm gonna show you a variation. If you do have more open hips and this position, you're not really feeling a stretch, what you can, what you can do is put a block underneath your foot and do the same thing, okay? Again, this doesn't matter as much. You don't win points for having a block on your foot, so just do the variation that's uh, in accordance with, with your practice, okay? Deep inhale. Exhale, fold. Again, I'm going for maximal push down through the knee and the foot as opposed to folding over deeper. And we're gonna hold it here for three, two, and one. Come on back. We're gonna take it back into center. Start to go a little bit deeper in our straddle, but change it up. So hands away from the ground. You can have your hands into prayer. If you're a little bit more open, you can keep your arms out to the sides. Okay, fold over for one. Again, keeping the spine straight. Two, breathe, three, four, last one, five. Okay, re-bend your knees. We're going back into that 90-90 position. Now, here, I'm, I'm gonna turn towards you so that you can see. So instead of keeping your hands here, you're actually gonna drop down onto the elbow. Think about bringing your elbow in line with your hip and really focus on pushing the knee down onto the ground again. Knee doesn't reach the ground, you can always put it on a block. But here, we're gonna work on that active external rotation. What that looks like, if you're brand new to this, I actually want you to take your left hand, your top hand, and bring it on top of your thigh like this. Now, you're going to help your leg into an external rotation action, okay? So just start to rotate that thigh into external rotation. And once your body gets familiar with that action, see if you can do it without the hand, okay? So we got five rounds of this. So deep inhale, on your exhale, externally rotate. And you wanna externally rotate about 80% of your perceived maximum. So if maximum is like you have veins in your neck, then you wanna dial it back 20% from there. And we're gonna hold it there for three, two, one and release. Rotate over towards the back of the mat. I'm just gonna turn sides so that you can see. Onto the left leg, same thing, elbow down. And this is my not as open side, but that's okay. It doesn't matter what it looks like. What matters is you hit that 80% of perceived maximum level. So again, if you're new, think about using your hand to help your body understand this external rotation that's happening. And then once you've hit your 80% mark, hold it there and breathe for three, two, one, and release. Okay, so coming back into center, let's add a little bit of twisting. So I'm gonna start out with my left hand. And with my left hand, I'm going to reach over towards my right foot and tap. So if you're a little bit more open, you can reach past. If you're not as open, wherever you are is fine, okay? So reach, tap, pause with the opposite arm, twist. Come back, let's do the other side, right arm to left leg, and twist. And we got a total of five rounds on each side. So one key note here is, notice that as you start to reach, if your toes are starting to fall in, try not to let that happen, okay? So this is round three. Three, four, reaching across, four. This is great for getting into your QL. So a lot of times when we experience low back pain, it's actually our QLs, our low back on the sides, right around here, all right? So bend your knees 90 degrees, and then we're gonna go back into the first side. And then from here, we are gonna get a little bit into our hamstrings, okay? So deep inhale. On your exhale, try to lift up the knee and the foot without rounding the back. Try to stay nice and straight. Big inhale. On your exhale, keep the legs straight. Toes up, digging the heel down into the ground. Exhale, fold. Hold it there for three, two, one. Come back up. Do your best to lift up the leg. Excellent rotate. 
and come back into your 90-90 onto the back side. Rotate, deep inhale, on your exhale, lift up the whole leg, kick the leg straight, toes point up, set the foot down, deep inhale, fold. Hold it here for three, two, one. Come back up, lift, excellent rotate, back into your 90-90 and back into center. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Um, this is a great little warm up, cool down, or if you don't have time, you just want to do a little bit of hip mobility, or you really wanna focus on just, man, I really got stiff hips, and I just need a little something to really target this hip area. These are fantastic. If you have a little bit more time, do a few more reps when you do the isometric and actives. That's gonna be super helpful for building up some more functionality for uh, a, a lot of your yoga postures, okay? So I hope this was helpful. I'll see you on the next video. Namaste, yogis. And please hit that subscribe button. It helps way more than you think, and I would be deeply appreciated. All right, namaste.